and welcome to my new installment of all the books on my physical TBR. Um, today is part two of my general adult fiction video because I had way too many to do in one video and I didn't want to spend 16 hours editing one thing. So this is part two. If you notice behind me, my shelves are basically empty. That's because these are my adult fiction shelves. These are the ones I film in front of and I didn't want to have to move just for this video with like my lighting and everything so we're just filming in front of empty shelves today. I will link part one's video down below in case you're interested in the rest of them and I will put the same caveat here of I haven't read these books so some of them are going to be science fiction or fantasy just because A I haven't read them or B it seemed like such a mild part of their story that I just figured they fit in better with general adult fiction and also because I have limited space on my science fiction fantasy shelves so sometimes things get pushed over here where there is a little bit more room. So I'm just gonna get into this. There were like 80 books in my last video. I'm expecting basically the same here so I'm just gonna go. Breath Eyes Memory by Ed Witch Dantica. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. The Necessary Hunger by Nina Ravoyer. The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. The Reader by Bernard Schlink. Southland by Nina Ravoyer. I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. Promise by Min Rose Gwynn. Perfume by Patrick Soskind. The Tiger's Wife by Taya O'Brett. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. The Effects of Light by Miranda Beverly Whitmore. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. White Teeth by Zadie Smith. The Right Stuff by Tom Wolfe. Sugar Run by Mesha Marin. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Every Man by Philip Roth. Once We Were Brothers by Ronald H. Balson. The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Hagseed by Margaret Atwood. Sister of My Heart by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni. Dangerous Admissions by Jane O'Connor. When I Hit You or A Portrait of the Writer as a Young Wife by Mina Kandasami. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Artemisia by Alexandra Lapierre. The Woman Who Married a Bear by John Straley. Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey. The Girl with the Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier. A History of the World in Ten and a Half Chapters by Julian Barnes. Every Note Played by Lisa Genova. The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood by Rebecca Wells. The Red Tent by Anita Diamant. A Prodigal Summer by Barbara Kingsolver. Car Carla by Michael Grabowski. The Homecoming by Ken McCarthy. Unaccustomed Earth by Jumpa Lahiri. Trainspotting by Irvine Welsh. Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. The Man of My Dreams by Curtis Sittenfeld. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. You Think It, I'll Say It by Curtis Sittenfeld. The Time Between by Karen White. The Kept by James Scott. The Night Road by Kristen Hanna. Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. The Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. The Pilot's Wife by Anita Shreve. The Trial by Franz Kafka. Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. A Wilder Rose by Susan Wittig Albert. Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Beloved by Toni Morrison. The Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory. The Bolin Inheritance by Philippa Gregory. The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Black Hawk Down by Mark Bowden. Sula by Toni Morrison. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Pale Fire by Vladimir Nabokov. The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. Lost in the Forest by Sue Miller. The Assault by Harry Mulish. The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. Tuesdays with Maury and For One More Day by Mitch Albom. Caroline, Little House Revisited by Sarah Miller. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. The Human Factor by Graham Greene. The Serialist by David Gordon. The World According to Garp by John Irving. Smell a Sense of Snow by Peter Hogue. The Distant Hours by Kate Morton. How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez. The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts. The Virgin's Lover by Philippa Gregory. Equal Affections by David Levitt. The Other Bolin Girl by Philippa Gregory. Zoo Station by David Downing. And finally, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. So that was 
86 books that I have in addition to the 81 from the first video. So that is 167 books. Math is hard. Um, I have 167 general adult fiction books on my physical TBR. That is a lot. Probably too much. But I'm excited for like the vast majority of these, to be honest. There were a few that I talked about that I was like, I forgot I own this and I really want to read it. So that's cool. And also there was one where I picked it up and was like, I just set this book five minutes ago. So I had a duplicate copy that I was fully unaware of. My bad. It went in the unhaul pile. But let me know down below if you've read any of these, if you have any thoughts on any of these, if you want to buddy read any of these. It's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't have anything else to say. This video series is almost over. I have one more video after this, which will be kind of like a miscellaneous everything I missed because I missed a few things. So that will probably be out within the next week or two to conclude all of the physical books that I own. But I must go return all of these to my shelf. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.